In this video we're going to cover labels for cabinets, doors, and windows. Labels in Chief Architect can display either nomenclature, such as for the cabinets, like this Base 24 or B24 cabinet, or the program can display the callout if you are using a schedule like the doors and windows in this example. The nomenclature for labels are dynamic. As I resize the cabinet, notice the label updates. This works for both the width and the depth. As I place a sink and a dishwasher, notice the labels update dynamically. Labels are layer based. In the active layer display options, it can easily be turned off or turned back on. Changing the label from nomenclature to a callout requires using a schedule. To place a cabinet schedule, I'll go into the project browser. Underneath CAD details, I'll right click and say new detail. I like to put my schedules in details that way I have a clean workspace. This will open up the clean workspace underneath the tools menu I'm going to come down to schedules and place a cabinet schedule. As I place the schedule, schedules can control the nomenclature in your floor plan view. As we go back over into the floor plan view you'll see that the cabinet nomenclature has been replaced with a callout. Let me tile my screen by pressing Shift F6. I'll double click to open up the schedule. On the label panel is where you can control the callout information. If you uncheck Use Callout, the nomenclature will return. You can change the style of the callout. You can also change the prefix number that is being used. I'll go ahead and turn off the callout. You now see the nomenclature return. And one of the things you can do with your labels is move and adjust them. You take a look at the corner cabinet. It is currently on top of the base cabinet label. If I click on the cabinet, there is a very small move handle which you can move. You can also rotate the label. Using that move handle, you can slide that out so that it is more readable. Again, when you click on the object, you'll see a small rotate handle. There's also a small move handle. You can also control the offset of your labels. As I double click on this window, on the label panel is a control for the offset. In the X origin, if I put in a positive number, three inches, it will move the label to the right. A negative number will move it to the left. The Y offset, in this case, will move it up and down. A negative number will move it up. And as I close the dialog panel, you'll see the change in the offset for your labels. So you can use this offset to control the placement and if you set it up in your defaults and you want it slightly off of the object, use the offset to control it. You can override the default label. For the example on the cabinet on the right, the B24, if I want to put a pullout inside of this cabinet and change the label to indicate that it has a pullout, I'll double click on the cabinet on the label panel. Currently you can see the label is being used as a B width. If there's an automatic label on, it will show the default automatic label. To specify a pullout, what I'm going to do is type in the word PO for pullout in the macro control on the far right hand side. Object specific is a macro for width. This will control and dynamically update as you change the cabinet. If I make this a little bit smaller, notice that the label dynamically updates because of the variable in the macro for width. To learn more about the cabinet nomenclature, press F1 for help and search for cabinet labels. Underneath the topic for cabinet labels, if you scroll down, you'll see that the automatic label information is displayed and you can learn about the nomenclature the program displays for you. The appearance of labels can be controlled through the layer in the active display options. For the cabinet labels in this layer set for kitchen and bath, you'll see that there is a color assigned. Whether it's displayed, you can control the color, the line weight, the style, and then the text style for the label itself. If I switch the text style down to a smaller text style, say half inch, notice how the label gets significantly smaller. This can be controlled through the layer set. Currently with the kitchen and bath layer set, if I switch this over to the floor plan shell layer set, you'll notice that the colors and sizing may have changed based on that layer set, also controlled through the save plan views and your layer sets as well.
That wraps up this video on labels for cabinets, doors, and windows. To learn more, please see the built-in help file or watch our other videos. Thanks for watching.